He said that looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, let us run this race with what? Patience. And so in running the race, I said this morning that it is not a sprint. Say, yeah, 400 meters. I told you I was only so he said, I won't even catch you. I was only so he said, I won't even catch you. Then, bah, you guys will run. Then, it was only, it will be, it will be a good matter. Say, I'm a bro, I'm a good to be good people. It is not the kind of race that we are running. We are running a race that is more than marathon. We are running a race that comes with challenges. We are running a race that we go through storms. We are running a race that the weather will not be in favor. And so at least as a still one, they're not going to put the police if you can bring it up quick. I just want to look at that look quick. Just look at that look. He said that what is time is that it is the ongoing sequence of events taking place. And we have promise and we have courage. Promise is a grown knowledge gap where we say that, okay, what is time? And we look at time on the wall. But then we have courage. Kairos is different from Kairos. Kairos brings divine intervention. Kairos calls God to step into play and make a change to every situation. And so when we say hold on, we are saying that hold on to your faith and wait for the Kairos moment. Because when Kairos moment shows up, everything will look like nothing happened before. And that is why Paul was encouraging us for the writer of Hebrews was encouraging us that, hey, while you are running this race, I just want you to fix your eyes on Jesus. Don't look at the situation. Don't look at the messages. Don't look at anything because Jesus, when he was running the race, the strategy he used is that he looked at the joy that is set ahead of him and he used that joy as a strategy to run the race. Because if you look at the current situation, then you will miss the race. And God doesn't want us to miss the race. He says, a cloud of witnesses are looking at us. They are cheering us on. They are saying that, hey, I'm depending on your faith so my faith can be complete. And so for your faith to be complete, you and I have to keep running. We got to keep running. We got to keep running. We cannot stop. We cannot give up. We cannot give in. We cannot compromise. Why? Because our children as men are looking at us. As our daddy was saying, he said, and they said, how can I hide this? From Abraham. God was testifying of a man who really does have children. Are you catching it? Abraham didn't have a child. But because God has already changed his name, God was speaking prophetically into the life of Abraham. He said, How can I hide this from a man that has the ability to raise his own home? And it calls for men to be spiritual. It calls for men to be in alignment with God. It calls for men to know the purpose of our existence. It calls for us to know why am I married? Why am I alive today? What is the assignment of God for my life? And sometimes as a man, we feel the woman. And please forgive me, I'm not doing a man on the bus. A woman has become more spiritual than men. When men are supposed to be the prophet of the home, they're supposed to be the pastors of the home, they're supposed to be the evangelists of the home, they're supposed to be the go-to. But now a woman has become the go-to. Praise the Lord. And then when you look at purpose, we say purpose is the reason for which something is done or created. So there's no way, there's no purpose in your life. Maybe today things are not the way they are. But breaking news, it is for a season. It is for a season. It is for a what? A season. It will pass. It will change. Be encouraged. Hold on to your faith. Do not let your faith go. Don't let it go. Don't give in. Fight on. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 Paul said that we therefore be justified by faith to be justified means to
to be without an issue, to be without fault. And he said something he said that we go through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are justified by him. And he said in the verse 2, he said that by whom also we have access by faith. The elders obtain a good report by faith. We are running the race by faith. We get married by faith. We get documents by faith. I know maybe you can with regards if you understand. By faith. We have to call it into existence. By faith, we give birth. By faith, we build business. By faith, we change our family story. By faith. I've done this book, he said, that for he prayed and fasted. And I love that page that he says that for when he was in Germany, he relied on the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. And nothing took him from that. Relationship. So even in a foreign land, he maintained the relationship with the Holy Spirit. And at some point, he realized that if he's not careful in Netherlands, things might take him away. So he have to go to Germany. I mean, Belgium, sorry. And you see that this is a man who is determined to finish the race. And if we can all look at the heroes of faith, we can look at them. We can look at them and say, you know what? If he's running over 60 years old, living prayer, praying hours, going around, visiting people, people are coming different times, going to Israel, doing all this. If he's doing it, then we do. We tap into that grace, then we do what we do. The heroes of faith is the forward. We stand. We stand. To stand translates simply means that presently, where we are, we stand in that grace. And we are standing in that grace by faith. By faith, we are standing in this grace. And he says that rejoice in hope. We have received a lively hope. And then we that's why ever speak up. And then we that's why to be new. And then we that's why. A lively hope. And the Bible says that if you have suffered for a while, it will change. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Times, seasons, they are not permanent. It will change. I wasn't married before. I never thought of getting married. When you are growing as a young man, you so you with me. So we don't care about it. I worry myself. My wife asked me the other day, said, Ah, I will probably also be yourself. I don't know what your property is. I said, Ah, I'm going to say, Okay. I want to enjoy life. <laughs> you are talking about property. I don't even care about property. I want to live. That's why we will be sharing who says, I will go to. That's what we are talking about. Never come up again, Mary. Never. Time. Season. Changes. Get married, have kids. Today, Father's Day, last night, before we got down, all attraction, you are the best daddy. We love you. You are this, you are this. And when I read it, I was like, wow. Hey, you still here, Papa. Hallelujah. <laughs> and it brings tears. And also humbles you because they are looking out to you. Everything you do, sometimes they won't say it to you. But they will duplicate what you are doing. And if you don't know, you say something else. I saw you doing it. What is wrong with me doing it? And so we too, we have to run with caution. Sometimes you are watching a certain show. Oh, man, the bear. No, I see something. Get to We want to say, what is no more. And you know what? I don't know. Also, you already said. And they told the girl, no, no, we are here. We are here. Because someone who won, they'll come back to you. We run a race and we are surrounded by our family. And what I like about this verse in the verse 3, Paul says something. 
He says that not only so, so not only we are standing in grace by faith. No, there's something else. He said, but we glory in tribulation. Who said, who counts as future? We are uh, talking about this here, something we will apostle Paul. How, how do you glory in tribulation? Tribulation is not fun. At one point, time, what was you? We've been anointed. Uh, still, you have a better turn on. It looks like they want it to be easy. Nothing is changed. And Paul is saying that we glory in tribulation. Let us run this race with patience. So as we are running, we are running in tribulation. So tribulation is right there. But we are not troubled about the tribulation. Why? Because we are running by the spirit of faith. We are building endurance and we are looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finish of our faith. And so the Holy Ghost is empowering us. He says, I leave you not as orphans, but I leave you with a comforter who will be your helper. So as you are running the race of tribulation, the helper is over there that will be you every day. And the Bible says, For we triumph daily. We triumph daily. How do we triumph? Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And so what said we do? We, we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. So what we see as tribulation, tribulation has been given an assignment, and the assignment is that Build patience in them for me. Build patience in them. Build experience. I told you that endurance is not one day, it is over time. In the book of Revelation, it said, I know that for my name's sake, you are being troubled, but yet endure, endure. You are enduring with patience and with faith. And so you can give up. Because God. That's not giving up on you. Why do you feel like I should give up? I'm a prepo in buying my booby. My Pia, I felt like that before. Where I thought it was all over. I thought it was all over. That's nothing to do. People are going, you can go. People are testifying, you can testify. But Joseph, for I have heard the testimony of many. But today, I got my own testimony. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so Paul says that what? And patience, experience, and experience produces hope in it. That's what. So for that, Mama Hibi Dana. I see hope in it. That's what. Hope in it. That's what. We be talking about not to know hope. And also, we be talking about not to know hope. Was I come on board home again? No, I can't talk to my man to hope. I don't know what told me about the moment I remember. And I'm about to say, I can't see what I'm going to talk to my man. No, I'm going to do more home again. Because I'm a good, I won't want a good demon. Did you know what man? I can't talk to my man to hope. Now, the only man I'm a minute in a day to hook my man. Also, what told me was it? Or home again. It was not. First wife, you know, at some point the man was no longer interested in her, even though they are in the same house. That was also my cry. Hallelujah. So, anyway, that's what. And if you proceed, please, he said, and hope make him not ashamed. And and it has swallowed and found. So, and it has swallowed shame and hope. It doesn't make sense. And so sometimes people can look at you and say, What for sorry, for sorry, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy. They won't be. And money help. The only name they said, I brought him up, but it was all over. God was working behind the scenes. It's a problem because I'm going to keep on going. Now, so when you're in the way, you have 
to do it, God is working behind the scenes. In the time that they did not observe, I want you to come and see proud. What can we live for? Now that we are here, you see the enemy may be able. When Naomi came back, people were looking at Naomi like, Ah, who drank Karuto? I be one for here now. I go far more. I buy what's with you. But they didn't know that the king's man is available. Yes. And Moab, Boaz was the king's man. And the Bible said that when the day Ruth gave birth to Jesse, it was interesting. Now I'm saying, ah, I'm so sorry. I'm getting silly. I said, what for? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, and he said, because the love of God is shed upon in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. I want you to know that you are not running alone. Hallelujah. You are not running alone. So how do I hold on? I will be the answer on your meaning first. Spend time with the word. Spend time with the Holy Ghost in prayer. Because we don't depend on the Holy Spirit. Because but when you depend on the Holy Ghost, a mother will teach you. Hold on, don't give up. 
for there shall be a performance of this. Things will happen so fast. Things will change so fast. There are times of season. He said, to everything there is a season. And to every season there is a time. It's a time and chance happen to them all. In the second chapter of the verse 12, he said, for God make all things beautiful. It is on time. What are you sure with? Then the mom and dad. Then our children. And then and then we go and seek hold on. And then we go and we say, don't give up. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Because when John the Revelator was standing to Patmos, the island of death, the Bible said when you check the movie, there were three young kids who said, John, we want to protect you so you can escape. But the Bible, the, 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 the scripture when you go, it is not in the Bible, but the story says that in Patmos, this spring, before they took John to Patmos, you know they took him to a prison before. In that prison, there were three boys. They want to protect John. They were trying to shield John. And the day they gave themselves to be crucified, in place of John, John showed up. And he said, let these ones go. I'm the one you are looking for. I am ready to die for him. And they took John to Patmos, island of death. And the Bible said, yet he didn't die. And while they were in Patmos, there was a young man who was tired and was shaking by that. How can we love this God? How can we do everything for this God? And yet we are suffering. And these are questions sometimes we also ask. How? How? But I stand here as the testimony. I stand here as a testimony that God can do all things. I stand here as a testimony that said, I want to open my bed. I said, I want to open my bed. I said, I want to open my bed. I said, I want to open my bed. He said, it will happen so fast. I pray that the spirit of faith will get hold of you. I pray that the spirit of endurance will get hold of you and I. That in tribulation, we will glory. When people say things around you, you tell them God is able to do all things. He said nothing is permanent. The only thing that is permanent is God and His word. And then we go say, hold on, don't give up, please. Help me as a fighter. Bless you. Now we send the seller back to you. Let me hear that close of me.